Surfers, it's time to go behind the scenes of the latest Disney movies. Hey Movie Surfers, it's Anna Sophia Roth, and you're watching the Movie Surfer podcast for my new movie, Bridge to Terabithia. You're not gonna believe this. That's right, Movie Surfer Tessa here, and we've got interviews and video that you can't see anywhere else for Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media's new movie, Bridge to Terabithia. Yes! I got you, Leslie! I got you! It's the story of two kids who are outsiders at their school. Consider it a free lunch program, farmer boy. But through the power of their imaginations, they get to be rulers of their own kingdom. We rule Terabithia, and nothing crushes us. Jack! And as a surfer, I got to travel all the way to New Zealand to talk with the stars of the film, Anna Sophia Robb, Josh Hutcherson, and Bailey Madison. Well, my character's name is Jess, and he is an artist. You're really good at drawing. Like, better than any kid I've ever seen. And he gets bullied around at school. <laughs> He's kind of somewhat of an outcast. Do you have a death wish? The back row's for eighth graders. I play Leslie Burke, and she is a very lively, free-spirited young girl. She's not really afraid of anything. Mm -hmm. And she just likes to try new things and express herself. You're really asking for it. Seems to me she gives it out whether you ask for it or not. Can you tell us who you play in the movie and a little bit about your character's personality? I play Maybel. Maybell. All right, and what is Maybell like? Well, she wants to follow like her sisters and brothers around. You want to go? Yeah. I want to come. You can't. It's a free country! What exactly is Terabithia? Terabithia is a kingdom where Jess and Leslie go to solve their problems. Hey. What if there was a magical kingdom that only we knew about? Where there's no Janice Avery's or Scott Hogers. Squirrel! Part squirrel, part Scott Hoger. Squoger. Squoger! And they try to conquer their fears ah! or the villains in Terabithia. Therefore, they can conquer them in the real world. Hey, here he comes. And a guy who can stand up to a Squoger is scared of a Hoger? So what's the best part about making a movie? I think getting to hang out with these guys. It's a lot of yeah. fun, it keeps it interesting all the time. So it's cool to have some, some kids to play with. The stars of the movie said that I should visit the Weta Workshop, where all the creatures of Terabithia were created. Nice feet. And I got to talk to the movie's effects supervisor, Richard Taylor, who also did the character design for the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So, when you're first starting a project such as Bridge of Terabithia, what goes on in the first meeting? Well, the first meeting is often the most wonderful meeting because it's an opportunity that we get to interact with the director, the producer, the creative team about what this world could be. There's no rule set at that stage. It's just about dreaming up the most wonderful creations, and that's really fun. And I also got to see how what it turns those dreams into reality. <laughs> when I talked to the art director, Michael Pangrazio, and digital effects supervisor, Dan Lemon. So this is a rough sketch of the Terabithian warriors as they kind of emerge from the forest. And as you can see, there's a bit left to, the, to interpretation. The artwork gives you a pretty good foundation or guideline, but it doesn't really get into specifics about color and texture and things like that. So that's something that I get to explore. Michael told me he takes the artwork and creates a three-dimensional character from it. From there, the animators take over and begin to incorporate the character into the movie. Now we're even. Of course, the movie has more than special effects. It also features a song by one of the stars of the film, Anna Sophia Robb. You've got to keep your mind wide open All the possibilities Can you tell us a little about the process of recording a song? I just went into the studio and sang the song full on just a couple times and then we cut it down into verses and so I just sang the verses a couple times through. It's a slow process but it sounds good in the end. Just close your eyes and keep your mind wide open. Do you think that having an imagination is important for creating music? Definitely. I think that's where all music is created. Surfers, you can see imagination brought to life in Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media's new movie, Bridge to Terabithia. Believe in what you see.